All right, hi everyone, this is Katie from The Kramer Life. We are here today inside the 1930s house. We are going to be doing our sixth installment of Treasure Tuesday. I know it's been a little while since we've done one of these and by many requests, surprisingly, we're gonna bring them back. So we are back inside the house and we are in the library living room and we are going to look through the other half of the library. Uh, we, have, we still haven't really looked through a lot of these, to be honest. We've been working on other projects. I know this side does have some foreign language and some interesting books, so we'll go ahead and take a look and see what we've got. This might get a little embarrassing for me. I'm probably not gonna be able to pronounce half of these books, but here we are. <laughs> this uh, appears to me that most of these are in German. There's the guarded German reader up here. No idea what this is about, but this one looks cooler. So let's take this one out. So one thing that we know about the previous owner is he was a professor of many languages. And a lot of these books actually came from the school library that he used to teach at. Um, oh, it's in English, sweet. So this is graded German short stories. So this one was copyrighted in 1941, and the 13th printing was in 1961. It's very fancy writing, and this is definitely not in English. It's what I always loved about, um, I used to have a German, um, what is it, like nursery rhymes. Some of what I bought one when I was probably in my 20s, because I absolutely loved it, and I thought it'd be cool for when I had kids. Uh, but yeah, they're they always have such beautiful pictures in a lot of the books And I think that's what I've always really liked about it. Let's see and they do quite a bit of Photos Usually you can find quite a few in here Let's see. Almost all the chapters I always appreciated the little bit of artwork. I don't know about you all but I thought that was cool and then there is some English in here but the majority of it, um, it looks like the exercises are in English. I don't know what exercises are, but it just looks like this, whatever this exercises chapter is, is all in English. Oh, it's for translation. Oh, so this is an actual textbook. So this is to help you with your German English translation. Kind of cool. We'll see how rusty my German is. <laughs> very, very, very rusty. Um... Yeah, all of these are modern German literature. This one caught my eye. Wilhelm Tell, I've heard of that author before. Signed by somebody, 1902. So this definitely is an older, an older book. This one is in English. And it looks like it's definitely used um, with some, somebody has gone through it and made some comments and corrections and then it's also in German as well um, interesting these ones look like they're going to be some like nutritional live longer so feed yourself right so some healthy type dietary dietitian books and then oh my goodness crime and punishment what is this how have I not seen this before unsolved mysteries is right up my alley. Oh, it's got a fingerprint. A pictorial encyclopedia of aberrant behavior. Whoa! Gacy and Hitler and wow, interesting. All right, Jack the Ripper. Interpol. How old is this? 1974. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's like real murder pictures and stuff. How fascinating. That's really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a series like this before. It's usually I thought it was going to be more encyclopedias. I was not expecting like an encyclopedia of crime. And then it looks like there's also in here inventive crimes, amazing animals. How interesting. 
Unsolved Mysteries of the Past and Psychic Powers. Coeth History of Man by Emil Ludwig. This one's 1928 to 1934. This is the 1934. This is the seventh impression of this book. But you can feel how old it is. The papers are very thin, kind of like old Bible papers. A very different feel than... Huh. Let's see. What are these? So these are... Master Plot's Digest of World Literature. Oops. Circle of Chalk. Critique. So this is 1810 plot stories and essay reviews from world's fine literature. Anywhere from 1949 to 1971. So I'm assuming this is the oldest version, the 1971 version. But a lot of these authors um, were back in the 1800s. So the types of stories that are in here are quite old. And it looks like this is a set. And it looks like there's 18 of them. And then, yeah, this is the 1971 edition because this one is actually dated here on the end. Goeth Faust, part one. Oh, this one's real moldy. Calvin Thomas, first, volume one, the first part. I see that it's printed in the USA, but I don't actually see a print date on this one. But this one was well loved and whoever owned this uh, did some translations from German to English. So there's a lot of pencil markings. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of cool. Some translations throughout it. Oh yeah, he, there's quite a bit in here. So this one was very well loved and well used. Very interesting. Be fun to kind of go back and look through those a little bit and see, oops, um, you know, what else is in here. This next section, Nate and I could probably get some use out of. How to talk more effectively. <laughs> Speak with ease. <laughs> uh, the art of public speaking. <laughs> Words are hard, folks. Words are hard. <laughs> um, this is looks like some older, uh, again, when I say older, I mean, they're not old, but they're just not super current. These Most of these books are, you know, this one's from 1967. Um, but it's kind of interesting to see the the differences between I would love to look at like a, a vocabulary book in the current to see the difference between in 1967 vocabulary and recommendations versus now because I mean this one's talking about like puppeteering and ventriloquism as well so a little different And then there's some more about diction, um, you, how to use your voice and how to use your diction, talking to win. So a lot of this in here is going to be, at least this right here, is about words. And then up here, um, as we continue up, it looks like we're going to start getting back into some of the foreign language books. Uh, this is the Santa Bible uh, and just some different uh, deep Bible I don't know if, how to pronounce that. Is it Babel? Babel? Oh yeah. This one. 1816. Instituted in the year of 1816. And this one is an incredibly nice shape for the fact that it's so old, but this is definitely a Bible in a different language. It looks like to me, it looks like it's probably German. But it's in very, very nice shape. Um, and it looks like there's a few of them. I don't know if it's different versions or different uh, kind of like New Testament, Old Testament. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks like quite a few different Bibles and dictionaries in Christ. 
like this one. Okay. Whoa, this is pretty. It's the Holy Bible. Um, but can you see how beautiful that is? So this version of the Holy Bible, we can't find an actual date from it, but it's true. It, but it's translated from it's the new and the old testament and it is translated from the the original tongues with the former translations diligently compared and it's a king james version super cool but what i like is at the very end uh, with these maps and it's got some of the maps like with jerusalem This one's got to be pretty old. The one I found right next to it was 1800, and it was 1893, and this is the place of Christ, a modern theology. Kind of an interesting, um, it's the 8th edition, but some of the pages are a little ripped and you know kind of tattered but the binding is in excellent shape for how old this book is okay so here are eight of the book of lives i don't think i've ever seen the book of life um, but this is really beautiful looks like this one is printed in 1960. Talks about Nazareth. Again, has some pictures. And the rest of these, um, it does look like quite a few of different Bibles. Um, it goes into different goddesses. Um, Oscar Wilde, which is a good author. Quite a bit. There's some success with house plants, which looks to be a bit out of place over here. Uh, and this one is going to be, I think, an actual guide. So diseases and pests, and then actual, I remember these where you used to buy them and you'd get them mailed section by section to you, and then you'd finally be able to put them all together. Uh, it looks like there's three of these up here. So um, hopefully they're all different, but it'll be interesting to look through and see what's in here. And then, Looks like there's a lot of really different um, adult books in this section. We'll just, you know. Um, <laughs> and then when you get up higher, it looks like more German uh, books as well. And so let's keep going. It's not as organized as, as nicely as the other side was, where it was really tight on what you to expect. So that was a little bit of a surprise there, but... Um, looks like more German books, um, All Quiet on the Rust Western Front. Um, there's some more uh, male sexuality. Um, I don't know if just the title is common, but a few of the same titles. Um, and then it looks like a dictionary of idiotism, idiotisms. Oh, for the deaf. Interesting. Let's see what I don't want to. I don't want to put my finger in my mouth <laughs> to get my. Uh, so this one is a first edition, 1969, and just curious what this book is. So it's just back seat to take take a back seat. Backseat driver, informal, bossy person in the car who always tells the driver what to do. All right. <laughs> oh, this is cool. American Sign Language. I would like to get better at sign language. Um, so this looks let, allow, permit again. Oh, this is nice. This is actually common phrases as well. And it looks like... 
different ways that you can sign multiple, one sign mean, meaning multiple things. I remember, I know the alphabet, and I remember a uh, beautiful boy <laughs> from when I was younger and in, when I was learning uh, sign language in, I think that was elementary school actually. Um, okay, oh, I love Edgar Allan Poe. Complete stories. This one looks much older than my version. I have a pretty updated version. I think I bought it in early 2000s. Um, but this one obviously belonged to somebody. And this one is 1966 copyright. So this is definitely an older one. But everyone knows the Telltale Heart and the Pit and the Pendulum. Not sure what this little guy is. Oh, Poe's short story, Cliff Notes. So if you're not up for this, we can do this. <laughs> Gotta love Cliff Notes. Okay, um, understanding poetry. It looks like a lot of these, yeah, this is supposed to be a poetry because Robert Frost, another poet that I love, um, I used to write a lot of poetry. Um, and it looks like this is how to write books. So if you are looking to write a book, these are different ideas or guides. And it looks like they're various different dates. And then Stephen King actually is on writing. Okay. A pictorial history of love. The language of love. Love poems for women. It's pretty. 1966. Hmm. Guess I wouldn't have thought of that being a pictorial of love, but oops, sorry. Interesting. Oh, with Queen Elizabeth. A favorite of Elizabeth for years. He was generally believed to have murdered his wife. Right side. Looking into the mirror and seeing yourself at different times of life. All right. Oh. Hey, guys. I found the book for you. Ba boom I wonder if this is better than men is from men are from Mars, women are from Venus. It's pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. And it seems to be a series. Does it say Hein or Bane? Not sure. Okay. It's another college book. Uh, it's definitely. Oh, wow, it's dated 11 1937 with somebody's name here in the... Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's really pretty. Oh. I can't read those ones. I don't know what those blue ones are. Ben. Gottfried Ben. It looks like another German. Oops. Yeah, it looks like maybe more German poetry. It looks like from the 1920s and 1930s. Hmm. Work one. 1956 is when the Date is on that one. Okay. Moving along, we're into the home section. So it looks like this one is books on how to buy properties abroad, different types of architecture, different types of buildings, how to build your home, um, arts of selling your home, uh, real estate success, uh, and then like looks like tiny home before tiny homes were cool uh 27 award-winning plans on 1200 square feet or less 
we may be liking this book. This one looks pretty cool. So looks like it offers some diagrams and some floor plans. And it also looks like it shows even recommendations on how to build and how to landscape. And then how to build out the wall sections. Interesting. Looks like it's just a bunch of different diagrams and pictures about these different types of buildings. But it looks like there's quite a few of these um, home plans and different uh, different kind of soft copy books. They're not quite magazines. And then moving down, uh, a home of your own architecture books, cottage homes, different home styles. In the bottom here is some popular science books and then these illustrative books. So this is science and in invention encyclopedia, how it works. And it looks like minting techniques. That's what it says at the bottom. Let's see what it says volume 12. Oh, mining techniques, excuse me. Okay, so it looks like this one is 1982, and it's different mining techniques of how people used to mine in the past. And it looks like it just walks through uh, different scales of mining operations, mechanisms that were utilized. And then, oh, motorcycles. Oh, so this must be level, um, letter M. Maybe that's what it is. The encyclopedia. So it looks like there's 23 of these. Uh, this is number 12. Ooh, the illustrated computer dictionary is very dirty. Can you see all that grime on there? All those cobwebs. Oh, that is yucky. <laughs> Gross. Alright, this one is 1983. I'm going to learn some great computer technology from 1983. <laughs> Another computer dictionary. And then it looks like computer images, artificial intelligence, software, speed and power, communications. I'm curious what these what dates these are. That's kind of a cool picture. Reminds me of uh, MC Escher, is that who it was? I think. Speed and power, they're shiny. These look like they might be the 80s. I don't know, let's see. Very shiny. Oh wow, look at those. Can you read those numbers? You can barely see there's a one, two, three, and four right there. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. Somebody liked their shiny paper. I don't know, that's weird. I don't see any dates. How do you tell dates on here? <laughs> All right. 